has been on a journey of uh, rebranding. Uh, we have been on a journey to redefine ourselves and come closer to our mandate. Uh, so today we thought it would be fit and proper for us to share with you more uh, what we are doing and why we are doing it. So I won't spend a large expense of time telling you more, but I'll hand over to our chair to take us through uh, the story of Sinara, and then thereafter we'll open over to you. Thank you very much, and over to you, Chair. Colleagues, it is my singular honor and pleasure to address this uh, big gathering. During the occasion of the inauguration of the Isnara board, we promised a new philosophy, a new Zinara that is able to actually be transparent, accountable, and moreover, practice the issues of disclosure. Our main mandate is to fix road user charges, collect such charges or any other revenue of the road fund, and then we allocate and disperse such funds to road authorities. I'll repeat, we collect your funds. That's why I'm saying these funds are yours. Then we distribute and disperse to the 93 road authorities in Zimbabwe. And this is according to the Roads Act, Chapter 13, 18, and also the Public Finance and Management Act, and any other policies and procedure frameworks. We disperse funds. We do not construct roads. Zimbabwe is 93, we had 92, and this year confirmed there are now 93 road authorities where we, we, we develop such things. So in 2021, ladies and gentlemen, before we go to 2022, which is the reason why we are here, just to summarize, we said it was 9.5 billion Zimbabwean dollars. And total disbursements to local authorities and to the DOR and DF, from the DOR and DDF, for our city council, we gave them 873 million. The Bulawayo City Council last year, it was 353.5 million. Guero City Council, 25.7 million. Mashingo City Council, 165.5 million. Mutare Eben Council, 353 million. You see Harare City Council there, then Harare Province again, 133 million. Manika Land Province, it was 1 billion. Marshall and Central, 839 million. Marshall and East Province, 1.3 billion dollars. Marshall and West Province, 1 billion. Mashiko Province, 732 million. Matebele and North Province, 1.1 billion. Matebele and South Province, 890 million. Midlands Province, 891.7 million. And in total, this was last year, we paid $9.5 billion. And I also want to emphasize that these are Zinara funds, which do not include the funds from the Treasury. Remember, the Treasury is also part of this ERP, and they've got some displacements that they also allocate to this. We are just talking about Zinara. And maybe also to mention that we have since finished paying up all these funds. Finance Director, you can confirm. With the few certificates that came in January and February. You know, some roads that had been done in December, but now we're fully paid. And now, effective the first week or second week of March FD, we've already mobilized funds for the 2020 to these displacements. And the allocations are as per below. The Zinara allocations. The Department of Roads will get 6.3 billion. Confirm it's billion, right? District Development Fund, 4.5 billion. Remember these two, I mentioned that they then go to the cities, to the road councils, and also doing the roads that will be on behalf of the government. Our city council, will get 1.1 billion. Palayao City Council, 338 million. Gweru Urban Council, 196 million. 
Mutare Eben Council, 163.5 billion million, sorry. Mashingo City Council, 122 million. Mashonaland East Province, 519.6 million. Mashonaland Central, 451.5 million. Manikaland Province, 444 million. Mashonaland West, 741 million. Mashingo Province, 361 million. Midlands, 661.4 million. Matebelen North, 524.6 million. Matebelen South, 495.1 million. So in total, I see you're doing some calculations. What's the total, sir? I see you're calculating. <laughs> Thank you. In total this year, Zinara, from in the next two weeks, is ready to disperse $17 billion for road rehabilitation. This is the $17 billion that we say we are ready to disperse, and it's now up to the road authorities. We urge the road authorities, like we said, that obviously we, we, we are not responsible for who they contract, for who the companies they contract, but the issues to do with quality and acquittals. They must acquit so that we'll be able to, because obviously we are also bound by our audits, that if they acquit, that's when we can pay them. But obviously someone will ask a question that, um, but 17 billion for the whole nation at times, there might be a mismatch between what needs to be done. And I would like to also alert you that um, realizing this mismatch between income collections, because it's dependent on our collections, and the rate of the roadworks that need to be done. Sinara has actually undertaken some innovative uh, steps that, uh, for, for alternative funding. And we are actually in talks with um, various uh, banks who, are, who want to actually increase our plans and budgets and be able to give us uh, facilities. And I think um, in the next few weeks and months, we might be calling you again, signing with these. Ladies and gentlemen, this was the main reason why we called you, and we appreciate the time that you have spent with us, and I say I thank you.